Welcome everyone to our very first episode of Collectors by Sneakers Middle East. In this series, we're gonna meet with sneakerheads and collectors in our city, possibly the region as well. We're gonna start with Steven Smith. He's the first one we chose for this. Steven's right upstairs, so let's go check out his collection and have a chat. Thanks for Please. meeting with us. Thanks. Is there any sneaker that you're most excited for? Uh, any upcoming sneakers? This weekend coming up, we have the uh, Air Force One ca um, Cactus Jack. Mm -hmm. um, Travis Scott's coming up, and you have the new um, Alien 380 Yeezys coming out also on the same day, the 16th. So both right. of those are going to be trying to get both those at the same time yeah. I can. So okay. I'll All right. What's the longest you've ever waited to buy a pair of sneakers, and which one was it? Um, I can see you. I waited, long, I, waited, I waited a long time for and not been successful. Also, the ones I got actually was able to get were the Holy Pack, which okay. is over oh. here. Um, so these came out about two years ago, I guess. Um, so I waited yeah. probably I was there about five in the morning and they want to sell at seven so about two hours i understand people like thinking why would it go out at five in the morning for but you know, we understand why why you would go at five in the morning for a pair of shoes but where, where did you pick them up from um this is at the dubai mall adidas store okay and right. toby approves and here's toby the, and toby approves of the shoes so, so yeah. that, that's the thing with your instagram i'm pretty sure everyone who follows you will know it what is Toby approved? As in, how would Toby approve a shoe? When he said, if I when I do the Photoshop in the window, if he yeah. comes up, he looks at it, he sniffs it, then he yeah. says approved, and he, he approves of everything. He I, he loves <laughs> the Yeezys as far as stamping in them; they're really cushiony. Right. So mm -hmm. I got to make sure he doesn't go after too many shoe strings. He hasn't restrained them yet, but um, so far he's behaved himself pretty well. So <laughs> I'm happy with it. Has there been shoes he hasn't approved? Um. You no, know, no, he's, he's, he approves everything I approve. So we're pretty much, we're in sync. We're, we're aligned head to head with this one. So okay. he pretty much supports my, my addiction, so. Um, all right, in terms of the Holy Grail sneaker, something you've always wanted, but probably never had the chance to buy. Is that one? Um, recently with the Sakai Waffles, okay. I was successful on that. Um, I try not to covet things too much. I, you can tell about what, what my collection and stuff, but <laughs> if I don't get it, I don't get it. So right. if, if after the, the sale market, I don't buy resale. I don't okay. go over market value. I don't go over a retail price. All right. So I've never had to, if I, I didn't get the shoe, I didn't get it. And the exception was, I really wanted the Cause Jordan Force. Okay. Um, I'm a big art fan, art collector more so than shoe collector at times. Right. So the Cause, I love the artist. And they came out, and I wasn't able to get them. And my wife, my wife knew this, All right. she got me for Christmas. So it was oh, a gift from her, and I was very, very thankful. And they're in here somewhere. They're That's on the bottom there, see. on the bottom down there. So, but um, that pair is my probably oh, the grail pair. I really love the artist. All right. Oh, that Low is quite dark neat. Soul. That is quite neat. Um, so, that's a beautiful segue to my next question. What advice would you give us to get our better halves <laughs> to, <laughs> to um, understand our obsession I, with sneakers? I'm very fortunate my wife. I love her so much. She's, she's very right. really supportive. So um, it was, it's a mutual conversation. So we talk about things all the time. So all right. if, if you know it's within reason, she'll support it. And we all have hobbies. So yeah. um, she knew me when she married me. I didn't change into this person. <laughs> yeah. I was this person. So. It wasn't a big, a big surprise. So uh, I was very fortunate that we have a very um, loving relationship, and she yeah. allows me to do this kind of stuff. So, what what was the first sneaker that started it? What was, you know, and how long ago was that? We're talking. Okay, if you, you realize I'm a little older than most people <laughs> as a, in this conversation. So for me, the very the first one that was like a grail to go for yeah. was 1982. Wow, so it would okay. have been like um, Fast Time, Fast Times at Ridgemont High had come out. Okay. Um, the movie, and in the movie, the, the character wears a pair of Vans checkerboards all right. all right and that they're a california shoe i live up in florida and they really right. weren't available there was one shop in the mall our drive away down 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 a, down a ways away they had them and nobody else really had them as countryside mall so i made i made the effort i called them they had them i drove down there and I, I made the whole pilgrimage to get the shoe and get them was like and that was in college at the time this is 1982 then yeah that was okay and uh -huh. that was like the pair that was like wow now prior to that there's always been shoes i love like the the um Puma Clydes were classic uh, silhouettes for me. I, uh, I see you have a few Pumas here as well. I only well. have one Puma. I only have the... Um, the You've the, got the Cali, yeah? The Cali because of the whole... You can't get this in the U.S. Because of In-N-Out Burger. So In-N-Out Burger, oh, they yes. sued them in the U.S. This, this shoe was um, pulled from shelves in the U.S. So you couldn't, you can't buy it because of the shoe the laces and could, possibly the colorway as well. This looks quite an enough. It's off because the whole burger and sole and everything yeah, yeah, also. Yeah. But it was the laces go, yeah. that um, caused the lawsuit. So they were pulled from the shares shelves in the U.S. Okay. Well, here we're not in the U.S. in Dubai, so they had them on the shelves, and it was a weekend they were 
buy two, get one pair free sale. So I got three pairs of these now, two, one, one to rock and two to possibly um, resell later on in life. So we never know. So, so how does that work with... Oh my, yep, 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 sorry. So, I'm yeah, going to bypass from my question. Yeah, this is the pair that I would say recently, you talk about like what I look for in a shoe. Yeah. And the, the Pyre Moss, Kirby Jean Ramon, the Experiment Collection, this pair it's, is the pair that I think that year is my, my not sneaker of the year, this, this, this thing. Yeah. But this is such an original, unique design. Mm -hmm. I, I was just gravitated toward it. So it just really drew me in. And then all of a sudden, he came to Soul DHB last year. Soul, yeah. I, so I was, I was in the audience, for, you know, sitting there, and I'm, I'm looking around. Everybody else has the Pyre Moss shoes on. Well, I didn't yeah. realize those were all his assistants. And I'm sitting there, and he's looking at me, and like he's like, you know, nod, like how are you? Yeah. Like, hey, you know, like everybody else, you know. <laughs> yeah. And finally, during the interview, he actually stops the interview and says, he calls me out. Yeah. And, and it was like really unreal, like, like what's going on? He said, well, like, this gentleman, he's wearing these shoes. He must be aware of the culture, aware yeah. of the backstory, and of course. But you know, if you look at me, I realize I'm not the average the prototype. Well, oh, no, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not the demographic necessarily yeah. for anything, but and he just I love the designs. So and we had a really nice conversation with him afterwards, and then I showed him the picture on yeah. Instagram. He's like, dude, that's you, no way. I can't, I can't use the words he used, but yeah, a little of course, more colorful yeah. than that. Yeah, yeah, I've, I had to edit down the interview heavily. <laughs> but, um, he was like, dude, he called his friends, this is the yeah. guy from Instagram, so, it was yeah. unreal. so at that point is when I realized that people knew me from the picture yeah. more than just making fun of me from the picture. Yeah. So that's when I realized I had a little more, it was kind of cool that somebody that is in that culture yeah. at a higher level knew of me. Who, and who respected the, yeah. the, the, everything around yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It was very cool. So. so talk us through that picture and we're gonna pull up the picture here yeah. for everyone watching, just get an idea. If you haven't yeah. seen it, here it is. And, and I'm wearing the clothes. Tell us. This, 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 this <laughs> yes. is the outfit. I have the shorts and not the pants. I did it on purpose. So I, you know who I am. Now, I almost think I want to cosplay as you for yeah. Soul <laughs> on the XB this year. <laughs> well, I did. Well, I'll tell us. I did that actually. I went, when the full size run was there, yeah. I wore the outfit to their show. All right. And, the, and, they're, and, they're, and, they're, and they're looking also, they look, both of them, they could point at me and like this, they realized it was me. That's it was, you, it was yeah. kind of funny. So I was on vacation visiting my wife back in the US, flying right. back from Orlando to Dubai. All right. Um, and I'm in the airport at Outback Steakhouse, waiting for my flight, and right. some stranger takes my picture and you, doesn't tell me about it. You, so, you were rocking 350s, weren't you? I was rocking these. Oh, yeah. yeah there well, we go. Yeah. These. And I have it on the mug here. Most of this is there we go. It's a Christmas <laughs> present from, from my sister. It's very cool. But um, the, there we go. The, her, I told a stranger to take my picture. Yeah. And I'm unaware of it. So like, time goes by and back home. It would have been probably August, September, like eight months later. Okay. And my barber says, hey, I'm in a, I'm in a meeting, actually, I'm in a meeting at work on this big design meeting. And I get this text saying, do you know you're on the internet? I'm like, what are you talking about <laughs> on the internet? Yeah, you're on the internet. This picture has gone viral. Like, Wait, so, and then, then like my, the, my brain just kind of cracked in half. Like, what uh, happened? So yeah. for six months, from that picture being taken in February till August, September, it was all over the place. So I didn't know about it. Like, yeah. I, I I'm, I'm, wasn't on Instagram much. I wasn't, you know, I'm in the shoe culture, but I wasn't necessarily on like, Nine Gag, is it called? Um, it, it, yeah, it, the, it, was, it, was, it was big on that. The meme sharing yeah. Yeah. app, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was, it was really big on their fall, but I, yeah. I knew nothing about it. Yeah. So for the, the biggest portion of the time, you no, just, clue. Um, no clue. No right. clue. Then all of a sudden afterwards, it's like, and it's, then it's, it's like tied with a back messaging. It's like, what are you doing? What are you, what are you saying this about me? What's going on? So it's, it's very, very, very unreal situation. That's right. the point now where I'm, if I go out, like last week and I was at, Ikea in Abu Dhabi, yeah. where the um, picking up the, the Virgil Abloh collection stuff came out. Um, yep. Kids behind me in line chatting with them. Then they actually let me buy the rug, they gave me the rug to buy, which was really cool. I said, well, you know, <laughs> thanks to us, but you might know me. And I showed them the picture and they're like, dude, that's, that's you, you, no way. <laughs> they took the picture and stuff. It was just, it's just, so whenever I do a shoe release, whenever I go out to get shoes on the weekends, People in line, I chat with them, and I don't leave with them. I just talk to them. If I know yeah. they have to know the culture at all, yeah. I'll bring it up, and like nine times out of ten, they're like, dude, dude that's yeah. you? you know, so <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's, it's, it's played to my advantage. All right. Um, the next segue, you mentioned you found out about that at work. Yeah. What do you do? And do you rock <laughs> your kicks to work as, as a Sunday um, to Thursday? I do, actually. I'm very fortunate. So my background is um, theme parks and attractions. All I'm right. working for Expo 2020 right now. Sweet. Okay. So I'm um, doing, doing guest services for them. Um, I'm fortunate that what well, we're very structured corpus. I do wear like jacket, shirt, like dress, dress everything. All right. But I do wear the shoes, so <laughs> it's, right. it's going to be full on dress, dressing with a pair of you know the Yeezys, the Travis Scotts, whatever I mix in with color wise. I do make an effort to match and 
the, it's funny, the people that know the shoes, I get a lot of heads up, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. The people that don't know the shoes appreciate that I'm making an effort to, I match. So like if I have on, it'll be a brown outfit with this one. I'll make sure I That'll match, I'll match the, 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 the suit I'm wearing with the shoes. Okay. And there's a couple other folks at the office too that wear, wear, wear some Meister sneakers too, so it's not just me. So right. it's kind of nice too. So. Didn't you fancy picking up the last pair of Travis Scott's? The I would have, the, the sixes, I wanted them, but I was on vacation back in the US right. and I'd rather spend time with my wife than get a pair of shoes. So I was much happier doing that. Oh. So. And then, um, at, the same, at the same time, I, you said I don't ever want to pay more than retail. Yeah. So if I, I knew I missed that pair, I just move on. Okay. I mean, I, I do want them, but I'll move on. What what attracts you to a pair of sneakers? I mean, you have the most diverse collection I've ever seen, <laughs> except for the constants with the Yeezys. The Yeezys, exactly, yeah. But is there something like a specific color or? There's no color that draws me to it. It's mm -hmm. gonna be comfort. I have to be able to wear the shoe. I don't want a shoe that I can't actually wear comfortably. Okay. So it has, to be, it has to be wearable. Um, I look for design. So you go back to the Pyramos, the Experiment 1 again. Yeah. I like for a shoe that pops in some way. So that shoe really had a big wow factor in my opinion. So that one, or like the colors on the, um, the Blazer SP Para, which is phenomenal. Yeah. On this one as well. So anything that kind of has a good pop to it, the clots. This is beautiful. This, the, that that was really, those, the clots are really nice. Um, Mm -hmm. And then I'm more, I like collaborations, okay. particularly on Jordan, so I'm not a, the biggest, I mean, I'm older, than, I mean, Jordan was around when I was, I mean, so I, I you know, from the beginning, I never was a big Jordan person, um, because they're more basketball oriented. Yeah. Um, for me, it became with more collaborations, we talk about, I mean, old school Jordans, like the the black cements, white cement, those are, those are classics, mm -hmm. but otherwise you're talking to Levi's, talking to Justin Timberlake's. These are beautiful. Um, those are the ones that you trust. So when they have the collaboration more of a store, the Nigel Sylvester's with the BMX is really cool. This is Justin Timberlake's. Um, those are uh, the, those what draws me. Is any kind of story, uniqueness, collaboration, one of a kind. Um, and then anything that's new. So like the Alpha Edge 4D printed shoes. These are cool because this is like a future, one of the two future pairs. They're 4D printed soles. So this, mm -hmm. is, this is not a manufacturer. They have to do a 4D printing on the sole. So this pair, um, I liked a lot because it was, it's different, but it's also very comfortable too. Okay. Then you also talk about the Nike Adapt BBs, which are... Um... I was I was gonna get to that. <laughs> I, I, I was saving that for the end. Okay, we'll go ahead. Those are beautiful. Are you, you're gonna give us a little demo? Yeah, so the app on it. So these are um, battery charging powered. Place char as well. they're, they're on a charging pad. Yep. And they're, I mean, besides the, you know, whole Back to the Future, Marty McFly mm -hmm. um, story behind it, if somebody doesn't have full dexterity of their hands, it allows them to adjust their so. shoe with the app. So you're actually able to tighten the shoe. Yeah, that's a good one. And oh, Toby, Toby. Toby approves of it. So here we go. So that pair there. So you tighten it to the level of how, how you want it tightened. So you can make it looser or tighter on your foot. So it's mm -hmm. a slip on, then you tighten it that way. And then, you know, then you have the whole color splash. So if you can do, if you're, you know, not me, but somebody sure. wants to do the color thing, you can change the color of the shoe also. Mm -hmm. But that's not the important part. I just like the, the fact that, you know, in theory, if you have limited dexterity and limited mobility, you have the shoe on, you're able to adjust the, the tightness of the shoe. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like the, just like they did with the fly ease release. So if somebody has cerebral, cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. could put the shoe on and off without assistance, without having to tie the laces. Sure, so yeah. this, kind of, this kind of like adaptive things, I think are as important as the cool function is what the future, thing about, so everybody has can use the shoes as well. Okay, the experiment four. Are you gonna think? Are you gonna pick them up? As they as came they in. They, they came out and they dropped and they sold out like that. Yeah. So I that's it. They dropped now. For that that colorway, it'd be hard for me to pull off here. So yeah. I, I, I'm looking for the next color iteration iteration okay. of it. It's a sharp shoe. I definitely want it. But that particular the first color drop, the the, the palette of it doesn't really mm -hmm. match match me as much so okay. much. So I think the next colorway I'll try for because I do like that model. The experiment threes, the basketball ones. I, yeah. They only ever had a size 12 here. So I really couldn't pull that off either. The ones I wanted, the black ones, they never they had 11s, 11 and a half. So there was okay. the levels that had them. So, yeah. um, so it comes down to size. You have to, you know, I have to be able to wear them. I'm not going to buy them just to just display like, them. Just display them, true. And everything I have, I wear. So for the most part, people ask me, what do you do with the shoes? Well, I wear them. So pretty much everything I have, I've worn and I will wear regularly as okay. I'm able to. And then, you know, at some point, I know that some of them are resellable. 
So I know mm -hmm. I can resell them, even use for more than I pay for at retail. True. So, yeah. Maybe I can Hello, retail. Toby. This is a question that. Hello. <laughs> this is a question that I'm thinking about right yeah. now with Soul DXB coming up. Mm -hmm. Three days, three shoes. Are you going to be visiting? Of course. Of course, yeah. What are the three shoes you're rocking on those three um, days? You know, last year really sense because because Kermit Jean Ramon was here. I did wear the Pyre Moss ones. Yeah. This you time, might be here this year as well. I'm, I'm hearing that exactly. Yeah. So I would definitely would probably wear, wear, wear Pyre's again. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of walking, so you want yeah. comfort. There'll definitely be a pair of Yeezys. I don't know which ones, but the Aliens will be out by then, as well mm -hmm. as. The pair I missed, which I really wanted, the triple blacks. Okay. I, they came out. I was on vacation in Singapore, and they couldn't. I tried the hewing there, and I couldn't pull it off there. So that's right. the next pair. Of my grail pair coming up will be the triple black Yeezys. Okay. Um, I probably might consider wearing those. So it was one of the easy pairs. Um, you know, it just depends on who's speaking. What what it is. I don't have any Wu Tang shoes, so I can't. <laughs> I, but I, if I had a Wu Tang pair, I, I know. So. Um, We'll see. I, I so, spotted this on the Insta. Are the, you a Dra Dragon, Dragon Ball Z, Z fan, though? Um, you know, I know the brand. I can't say I'm the, I'm the biggest, but I okay. know enough about the brand. I knew they were a special shoe, so I got yep. them because I knew they were a, definitely a limited special pair to get. But I didn't answer your question. The three I'm going to wear will be a pair of Yeezys, um, probably a pair of, um, a pair of uh, either Jordans or a pair of Nikes of some sort. We'll figure it out beyond that. So. All right. Okay. And to wrap it up, yeah. if you could design your sneaker, which brand would you want hitting you up, saying, all right, Steve, <laughs> let's do a collab um, and talk us through it. What's the upper? Obviously, you're going to have a disruptive sneaker lacing system Correct. because it seems like you love that. But all right, which brand would you want to get on the phone with? Um, you know, I have to... <laughs> That's a tough one, isn't oh, no, it? No, it is. It's funny because there's there's the other Stephen Smith. There's the real Stephen Smith. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not the Stephen Smith issue <laughs> culture. I'm, I'm just the guy. There's Stephen Smith. That's the Grail. Like the, so he's working with Easy now, obviously. Yep. He's got the, the issue of the new foam piece with the body, with the new like, algae the, infused the, the croc yeah, thing, yeah. and they're moving their production yeah. line. I mean, to... So it's possible to work with them just because they work with another Stephen Smith. Yeah. It'd be a cool story to tell. <laughs> you know, um, as far as technologies and pieces, to your point, yeah. Um, a unique lacing system, a bit of distress, I like the Nigel's a lot, so kind of a little more story okay. to it. Um, and then, you know, I'm, I'm a big art person, so there's a chance to work with other, like an artist. All right. Um, he's mentioned Cos, love Shepard Ferry. If I could work, you know, something with him, or mm -hmm. maybe that's not going to happen. So that, that, right. if, if I'm dreaming in my head, some kind of cool collaboration with an artist, and with, you know, that'd be fun to do, so. All right. Cool. Steve, so that wraps it up. Thank you so much uh, for letting us into your... You little room yeah, and uh, this is the guest bedroom so my, my friends that stay with me this is what this is what they sleep with i sleep with my shoes so yep your friends are lucky all right we're <laughs> off thank you so much, so much buddy catch you at soul see you at soul cool so that basically wraps up our first episode of collectors by sneakers middle east um we've got a few sneakerheads and collectors here marked for subsequent episodes but if you know anyone and you want to recommend someone just slide into our dms or hit us up through our website on the contact us page and we're coming for a chat thanks for watching